In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create motion tracked call out titles. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. As you can see here, I have the more open. I'm going to go ahead and use some stock videos here. I'm going to go to stock media uh, partners, pixels, and I'm going to search for news. Uh, this is something I've used in the past. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this one over here. OK, uh, this is a pretty long video, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this so we can make it a little shorter. Uh, just in case we start rendering this out, we don't want this to be too long. OK, uh, let me go ahead and. Uh, all right, let's go to, let's say, about right. Here, OK, I'll delete the rest of this. Now we have a good amount of this video. Let me go ahead and just uh, zoom to fit the timeline so you guys can have a good view of this. All right. So since we have this here, let me make it a little smaller so it fits right here. Okay, cool. All right. Now let's go ahead and add our call out titles. Femora does this for you, does a pretty good job for you. So I'm going to go over to titles and I'm going to go over to titles, this folder here. And if you scroll all the way down, you're going to find uh, something that says, let's see, where is it at? Uh, right here that says call out. Okay. Now yours will probably look like this, right? There's a lot of options here. It's going to look like a lot of options, but the ones that have little diamonds on them, this is because these are from the standard library. You need to be subscribed to Filmora, uh, film stock in order to use these. So if you use this and you don't have that subscription, it's not going to let you export out of Filmora. So what I like to do to avoid that is to click this drop down here under that says all and select free. This is going to show you the free ones that you're going to be able to use and export with no problems. Now let's go ahead and pick one of these here. Okay. I think I like this one here. Three. There's not really that many options. So if you like it, go ahead and hit download. This is going to download the call out title, right? This is gives you a little preview on the screen here. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click drag and drop this on top of the video, right? I'll just extend this to match the video, right? Extend it to match the video. And I'm going to play this so I can see how it looks. That looks pretty cool. All right. So what can I do here to edit this? I can double click on the call out title, click on that, on that track. And you're going to go ahead and hit uh, advanced. This is going to show you where you can edit more of this. Okay. All right. So this gives you kind of like the, how it's built, right? So you have obviously the preset video, right? That's the little animation here that you see, and you have your text on here. So if you want to edit this text, this is where you're going to be able to do it right here, right? So this is how you're going to be able to edit the text. So if you want to change uh, text on here, if you want to change this text, then we'll do that on here. And you also have, you know, some text settings here. If you want to change the color, uh, opacity, blur, you know, stuff like that. This is where you're going to be able to do that. Now you can also change the animations here, right? So uh, you can apply different types of animations. So you can see there's nothing applied uh, here. We're just using the default uh, animations, which is the preset video. And there's just text on here with no animation. So I wouldn't really recommend changing these. You can change obviously the font, the size, obviously um, you want to be able to do that. All right. So what I like to do is actually make this a little smaller and I also want to position it where I want it to be within this video, right? So if you try to position this, uh, this way you're going to see that it's only going to scale, you know, this uh, preset video, but not the text. So you want to avoid that. So to avoid that is to avoid that you want to select everything that's on the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and click outside this click, hold and drag to select everything, right? So now everything is selected, the video in the background, the text itself. Another cool way to do this is you can actually select um, the video, hold control, select everything else that you want to select and everything's going to be selected. Now I want to be able to scale this down. Everything is going to scale down, right? Everything is scaling down. Cool. And you can also reposition this. So I want to put this um, right here. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. You're going to see that now we have our uh, text here. So I'm going to play this. Look at that. Pretty cool stuff here, right? All right. So once we have our title here, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Now the next a step is going to be to motion track this so that it kind of like follows her head as she's moving around uh, within the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the playhead to the beginning of the of the clip. I'm going to double click on the video. I right, double click on that and it's going to take you to 
you know to this right here it might be under video and under the basic uh, video properties you want to switch over to ai tools and it's going to show you these different ai tools here so you want to turn on motion tracking so click on that and what you're going to do here is you're going to go ahead and track the entire clip right before you do that you want to resize this to match uh kind of like to fit what you're trying to track so in this instance i'm trying to track her face okay so I'm going to go ahead and resize this, uh, resize this as well. Maybe kind of like this, right? I like that. Cool. Now, once you have this, um, uh, let me make it a little bigger. All right. So once you have this, you're going to go ahead and move the playhead to the beginning of the clip. Now, if you had the playhead here and you start tracking, it's only going to track from here going forward. So this area here is not going to be tracked. So if you want to track the entire clip, go to the beginning of the clip and hit start motion track. Now, this is not going to take too long because this is a pretty short video, but if you had a long video, it would take a while. Now, to see if this worked, we're going to play this video and you want to pay attention to, the, to this uh, box here, right? See if it's actually following what you wanted to track. So go ahead and play this. Pretty good job. Pretty good job. So far, turns around. Yeah, it does a pretty good job. See, as you can see right here, it didn't do a good job here. So what I could do here to fix this is I can go ahead and hit uh, reset. And a quick fix would be to, let's go ahead and turn on motion tracking again is to make this maybe a little bigger so that it includes the hair as well because the person turns around. So let me go ahead and uh, track this again, maybe like this. Then I'll make it a little, I'll move it up a little bit, kind of like that. And then I'll track this from the beginning. Shouldn't take too long. All right, now let's see what happens here. Pay attention to this little box. Play that. I'm gonna wait for her to turn around, see if it, I still tracks your face or a head, I guess. See, now it does a good job. So one of the fixes is essentially just changing that side. Make sure it's capturing everything that you want to track, right? You see the mistake I made, um, and that is, and what I just did is a way to fix that mistake. All right. So once you have this, you're gonna see that underneath uh, this year there is an uh, a drop down where under where it says uh, link element. What do you want to link to this motion track? Click the drop down. There's going to be a couple of options here on the bottom. These are always going to be there. Import from computer. We can import a graphic that you have saved in a computer, or you can add a mosaic, which is essentially if you want to blur someone's face, you do it that way. Now, if you add anything on the timeline, like our uh, text here, which is the call out three, it's going to be included on here. So anything that's on the timeline is going to be shown on here, right? Go ahead and select that. All right. Once you select that, I'm going to go ahead and play this so you guys can see how this looks. You can see that this is our call title here. So it's way up here. So what I like to do is essentially change uh, how this is tracked right, tracked right, because that's how it's tracking it. So what I could do is I can go to my motion track. I right, double click on the video and I'm going to go ahead and reset it. Right. I'm going to turn on motion tracking. So instead of tracking our face, because that is pretty high, I can track, let's say the microphone here, right? Track the microphone. Track that. And I'm going to link my call out three. Now let's see what happens here. Okay. Now this is at a relative, you know, relatively good spot. You can see that on here. So you just have to try different areas of tracking until you get it to where you want it to be. You're not always going to have this issue, but you are going to run into this issue when you're working with certain things. If a person is too close to the screen as they move, uh, this might push uh, the call out title off the screen. So you just have to find something else to track. So that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys learned something. I tried to keep all the mistakes that I made and showed you how to fix those mistakes. Make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.